Okay, I'm going to show you how I would go about transferring this content on the right uh, to the left. And I have a couple of extra tools that I'm going to use as I do this that speed things up. They will be explained further in the course, but I do want to use them because I want to show you how I would actually do it in the real world. We're going to transfer all of the content from how to use a phone into our content word experiment. So let's go settings, go down to the content area, and this is where everything's going to live. First of all, I would scroll down and highlight all of the content down to the first image. I would copy, then I use shift and paste to paste the content in. And that gives me an, an okay bit of content. If I look in the code, it's pretty messy. It doesn't look really nice, but it's okay. Uh, I then put in an image because I'm going to replace that image later. Now for this one, I'm going to highlight this writing now. I'd like to keep the links that are there. I don't want to lose those. So to keep the links, I use control paste or command paste. And that keeps all of the links in. Now you always want to check to make sure that open in new window is selected uh, because you'll need that. So your models will do that while you're there so you don't forget about it later. So this is just selecting each of the links and going to open in new page. That just means that you won't lose, the student won't lose where they're up to in the content. So that's just the attribution for that image. Now I have my home office phone. I'm going to paste that in. Uh, that was control shift paste or command shift paste. I have another image. So I'm just going to put image in there. I used the full word there, didn't I? Let's make it consistent. I'm going to copy this as well and control paste or command paste to keep the links. Fix up the links while on there so that they all open in a new window. Open in new window. There is a way that I do this globally for a page afterwards as well, but this is probably the easiest way with this small page that we've got. Now this one here has a table. So I select the whole table, copy, go over here and I just paste it in as a table, control paste. Now notice the images tried to appear as well because of the way I pasted it. So I'm just going to remove the images and type in the word image in there. I'll center align that as well. Clear that one out, image, because we're going to add the images later. Let's get into what's next. We've got three, what are numbers? So there's a whole heap of text here with not much else in it. There is a link there. So I'm going to stop before that link. I'm going to control shift paste all the content in or command shift paste if you're on a Mac. And I'm going to grab that URL and just paste that in without holding shift so that we get the actual URL in there as a URL. Now here's the bit that you don't have yet and you won't know about yet, but I have a little extra uh, collection of tools that I use. And this one is one called ghost text. Now if I click on ghost text, it pops up with the actual HTML of that page inside HTML editor for me. Now I have a special command that I use that I have sort of pre-programmed to clean everything up just beautifully for me. And you can see there it's cleaned up most of the stuff that's in the content. So now our HTML looks reasonably nice and neat. We've got rid of all of that extra rubbish. There is a way to do that inside Moodle as well, but it's not as effective, but that's how I would do it. Let's go back to my content now, back in my page. And the next thing to do is to just go through the document and tidy up all of those bullets and headings and things that don't make sense. So this does take a little while. It is not a quick fix, easy system that just does everything for you. So I've made those bullets. I go down to my six items here and I number those. Notice they're all numbered, but I need these ones here to be indented. And that quick quiz probably is supposed to be indented as well. Notice they've got letters on there. I could leave them as numbers, but technically they should be letters. So you do need to go through and tidy up all of this content here and get rid of all these extra bits and pieces that you don't actually want that have been added in. So the dot A's, they're in there. Number four, this one should be indented. So it's starting to look like the content on the right hand side. Again, it is a little bit time consuming, but 
it actually does the job. You can get fairly quick at it as well. I'm going to add the this assignment one. I'm just going to indent that as well into here because it looks like it should be. And renumber those. So they're one, two, three. This one's come up as five. There we go. There's four. So I'm just fixing up all of these. ABC, we'll indent those and get rid of the letters. And like I said, there is isn't really a faster way to do this. How not to use an iPhone? Did I miss one? Uh, see, I've got futuristic phone. Our survey should be indented. So let's indent survey. And put that back again. Up there. So now it's number six. Number six matches. There we go. We're good. We're up to our actual heading. So let's make this a heading. So I'll make this heading large. Number two is heading large as well. The content still stays the same. So that's all fine. And we go through and we've got an image to put in there. Obviously we'll put that in later. Check for spaces. Sometimes spaces disappear when you clean up things. At least they do in attributions. It's just the way the attributions have been set up. I'm probably going to center all of these to make it look a bit nicer when I actually do it. So let's center them and make these bold. They may be inside boxes yet, who knows. Uh, same with all of that, that can stay the same. Heading three, I'll make that heading. I'm just going to shift, hold shift and press enter to move that down one space because it's always too close to the table. Just the way a lot of people set up their CSS for themes. So we're past that now. What are numbers? We can get past all of that. Down to heading four. And we've got some bullets here, five bullets in a row. So let's highlight all of them. Select the numbered bullet. Get rid of all that. Then we've got for Android. I'm going to make that a small heading. I'll show you later why. Number five. Get rid of those. That's for Android. For an iPhone, we'll make that heading small as well. Fix up the numbers. Just get rid of those extra numbers that are there because they don't need to be now. And number five is down here. Let's select our large heading again. Um, So we've got home phone notes. Notice they're indented but not bulleted. To make it nicer, I probably would just bullet them. So I'm getting to make my own decisions here as to what might or might not work. Then we've got our really big long list of bullets here. So let's make those real bullets and get rid of the old dots. And last one there and we've got our YouTube embed and you haven't seen this happen yet but I'm going to do it anyway because that's what I would do in real life I would grab that link go to YouTube to find it I would select my magic YouTube embedder copy the code yes I'm doing this very quickly I would then completely get rid of that go into the HTML right down the bottom down here and paste that in and that just gives me an embedded YouTube video that looks nice and presentable in there which is good the last thing I would do is fix up some typos Okay, so just the last thing I would do is maybe put these two in an accordion. So for an iPhone, so again, I have this uh, tool that I use to do this, which makes it a lot quicker. And I'm just going to scroll down to where that is in the code. And once you get used to the code and you start to understand it a bit more, it will become so much easier. Um, what I'm looking for is a heading five for Android just there and a heading 5 for iPhone 
and I'm going to take it all the way down to this topic number five and put in there um, there's an accordion there we go if I close my code out the way I'm going to save and display so it's not going to look wonderful and beautiful yet at all and I should have done that heading one heading is a heading one and use an iPhone heading one there we go save and display let's see what we've got so we've got in there probably should compare it to our um, Word document a little bit shouldn't we we've got in there how to use a phone uh, everything's formatted reasonably nicely now uh, ready for my images to go in I haven't put those in yet and I've got another set of images to go in there and there uh, I've got there's our images what are numbers scroll down for all that and we've got down here where we had our instructions for an iPhone on Android I've put that in an accordion really quickly and notice that's sitting up too close so I'm going to have to fix that because that will annoy me so I'm just going to go back to my settings uh, scroll down to where that was shift enter and I'll save that and that's how I would go about putting the content from a Word document inside a page fairly quickly. Now it does need some tidying up obviously and it does need the images. It shows you how I can do that and keep the code really, really clean. So the code that sits behind that, uh, that sits in there, is now nice and clean and doesn't have all that mess in it that often comes with transferring content over from a Word document. Just click save and we're done.